Hey, so I haven't started this vlog. Today's Friday, by the way. Hello, Friday. So I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna do an impromptu photo shoot. I'm running a little late because I told them that I was gonna go there over there at 2 and it's currently 2.52 and I barely am even halfway through my makeup. But I wanted to talk about this real quick. Also, some rude girl commented on my today's video. There's always... How do I explain this without being rude to people? There's always fucking haters. Let me just say, there's always gonna be rude people and I'm mentally prepared for that because I am one of those persons where you tell me something, I will honestly not give a shit. I won't give a damn, I won't care, and I, I don't even care. I know me, you don't know me. Don't be coming out of nowhere reading, seeing one of my videos and acting like you know me and calling me names, rude names, which is really disrespectful. Um, one of the things that I love about my subscribers is that whenever a bitch comes at me, you girls defend me. Like, you girls are my family. I'm honestly, I'm gonna put her comment, I'm gonna screenshot and I'm gonna put you out there. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna put her right here so you guys can see what she put me. She put this fucking bitch trying to show off her fucking makeup and nobody, just a bitch. I don't, you think I'm gonna be crying for these roots comments? Like what the fuck? This actually makes me laugh because people are so, like haters are so stupid. Like what the hell? You're gonna come out here, enter to one of my channels? The fucking car is coming great. I'm just gonna keep doing my makeup till it leaves because I really hate that. Also, I need to go to Walmart because the journal that I saw yesterday, I'm gonna get it, the planner. I don't know if I talked about this. Okay, set this aside because I'm rambling. Back to the haters. Bitch, you don't know me. You trying to call me a bitch? <laughs> what about yourself? You go on forming hates around who knows how many people has she commented before, but I honestly don't give a damn about what people say. I've had comments like this before. I delete them or I block you. Bitch, I block you. And you know when I block someone on YouTube, this is something that I don't like from YouTube because when you block someone, they can still see your videos but they can't comment. My type of blocking someone is like blocking them from my life. Like, goodbye. So like, you don't see my YouTube video, you don't even enter to my profile, you don't comment, you don't do shit. Why block her if all she's gonna do is keep seeing my videos? Cause like, those people that try to comment and stuff like that in Spanish, they're called envidiosas. In English, I don't know, I think, I know it's envy, but it's like enviness. But I don't know like how to say it like envidiosa type of way, you know, like, like she's an envy person, something like that. I feel like, I don't know how to say it like that, but I did wrong on my video not saying the disclaimer where i'm not trying to show off the things that i get obviously this is free makeup what do you want me to do this is not something that i requested this was something that they reached out to me oh my god my palette almost fell down this is why i don't like to talk when i have makeup on my hands it's riskful because i use my hands a lot i'm gonna use mocha on all over my lid i'm trying to make a brown smoky eye I was so excited getting that package that I first, I paused it, did not touch it. I had to control my excitement because I was so freaking excited that I said, Diana, you have to control yourself. You're going to do a video tomorrow for your subscribers, for your family, so they can see how beautiful this package was. And I first thought, I want to make a video about it. I want for me to go look back after a few years and be like, hey, that was my first Ulta package. Like, wow, that's amazing. I like to do this type of videos because I know you guys love them. I'm doing this whole vlog as a full rant, but who the hell called you here? <laughs> no one did you don't like my videos you don't have to be commenting that you don't like them why do you even watch them why do you comment because you're a fucking envidiosa that's what you are and if you don't know what that means look it up bitch because i ain't telling you these are actual subscribers by the way i don't i can't even tell if she subscribed to my channel or not if she did <laughs> then you're definitely an envy person because like you're commenting and subscribing one of the girls that subscribed to me and is constantly commenting on my videos girl i love you thank you for defending me i don't need you girls to do that i'm grateful that you do it like thank you for defending me but you don't need to do it it's okay i am completely fine i honestly don't give a shit i <laughs> I don't care. These type of comments make me laugh so hard because that's so... You look so stupid going on people's videos and commenting that type of shit. You really look so stupid. Her name's Winter Allen. Shout out to you, girl. And Adeline Montano. 
She said WTH, which I think it means what the hell. What the hell is wrong with you? She's just showing to her subscribers her packages. Super normal. Watch the video first, you crazy girl. <laughs> Adeline put, you're so rude. She is rude. I don't know, Victoria Lorsi. I don't know who you are, but bitch, you're crazy. Well, my, gram my grandma's probably like, where the hell is this girl? She's gonna come here at two o'clock. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. I just went out looking with that brown that I put first and my brows done and I had concealer up here and I went to my grandma's house. She's like, why well, haven't you makeup? And I was like, I'm not done. I went to... This is so funny to say. Every time I say something in Spanish and I see and I edit the video, I laugh so hard because I'm not used to saying things in Spanish. But there's this pharmacy. It's called Farmacia Genesis in Spanish. Shout out to my cousin. That's her name. So we always make fun of her because we're like, oh hey, that's a pharmacy. I went over there because that's the only pharmacy where they sell the LA Girl, whether it's concealer, correctors, all of her brand to buy this concealer because this one was the one that Ulta sent me on the unboxing video for that hater that she's trying to be hating and so i said i need a more yellow one and i got this one and i feel like this one's too dark <laughs> i don't know on camera it looks yellow undertone on person it looks like pinkish yellow undertone I don't, I don't get it i also went to look for a much more darker tone foundation because whenever i am looking for foundations whether it's online or something whether it's a makeup brand that reach out to you and wants to send you foundation they're always sometimes gonna fail on the shade because they don't really it's like me like i don't really match my foundation very correctly online whenever i'm gonna buy a foundation online because it's so hard how it looks online whether it's a picture or something it's not the same shade that you will get on person my full opinion i look for this shade on the ultas page and it looked a little bit darker like it actually matches my skin tone so i completely understand why they sent it so this is the one they sent me this has pink undertones pink undertones is good for the inner corner because it puts your your dark circles it makes them brighter the red co corrector that i use for from this brand too is also good for that see you guys can't tell on camera looks really bright but on person it looks really dark i do love the pa packaging i love this before you guys see i did a review on this i don't know you guys might get it the next week before this because what are you gonna see the actual review if you guys know already what um why i use it so much i feel like whenever why do i talk so much of traveling well and uh, you're giving them hints it's not good for traveling because it's crystal you know it can break it's too riskful i feel like whenever i'm gonna travel i'm gonna take this bottle with me once again talking about more traveling this is the airspun loose face powder i get a lot of comments on my snaps which powder am i always using because i look so my face looks so smooth i mostly usually never talk about the powder that i use because i no longer like to put on my videos myself baking because i look so ugly you know this is reality darn it you gotta put it all in i like to bake on my smile lines what this means it's like it prevents it from your smile lines when you're using foundation you know that it creases and if you're serious and it feels like you're smiling because you have your smile lines marked down i don't like it it's really annoying and it cringes the shit out of me because i hate it when my foundation is creased this loose powder is universal for all skin tones and it's only $7.99 this thing has lasted me and i do videos and i use it every single day i have one that's more expensive it literally cost the life out of me i had to pay like almost 40 dollars for the laura mercier one i think it's almost 40 dollars i'm not sure that one's also amazing but i use it very few times when i have events because of how expensive it is and i don't want for it to run out i dedicate this to my hater you can fuck with me. For me, if you wanted to, these expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. It's just honestly, don't give a fuck about who we find. I'm gonna pause this because I want to explain something real quick. This Park Avenue contour. This is everything. It's pretty expensive. I don't wanna blind you guys, but you, you guys wanna see each other? Hey. I always use Princess Cut. I love this shade. It's like such a delicate beautiful gorgeous shade hello hi baby hey guys 
So I, I'm in Walmart. Wait, no copyright. And I got these. I'll go more in depth about it later. So I've noticed I've gotten fat a little bit. And now I'm like out of breath. I don't know why. But like ever since I woke up this morning, I feel like out of breath. Now I'm going to go to my grandma's house. I switched to, I told her at 2 and it's currently 4.50. It's so late. I think it is that I'm getting sick because my nose is like runny. I don't know even, I don't even know why. This was like an hour later. I'm hearing like some banging. And that reminded me of that song from the Polar Express. It's a magic carpet, I'm no real. I didn't think the song was gonna be this intense. It's making my eyes water. But I'm here hiding so people don't see me. So this is the rooftop. The only bad thing is that my eyes are so sensitive to this. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the view. I'm gonna leave because I cannot take it. Look at this. I once took a picture of this. My eyes can't take the sun today. Watching Alicia. Oh wait, wait, wait. I was editing some pictures that went up in my Instagram. I'm gonna show you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Coming in here. Okay, that's Shawnee. That was one of my recent posts. Already up to 14 likes. About. How many minutes ago? Come on, focus. Nine minutes ago. Follow me on my Instagram. That is my Instagram. You guys are constantly asking me how I edit my videos. A little bit of a sneak peek. That's all you get. Hi guys. It's a while later. Don't mind my ratchet face, hair, whatever else I have ratchet. <laughs> I have to invest on a new memory card so I can keep vlogging for you guys because I have to constantly keep deleting footage and it's really annoying. So what I mainly came here to sit down for was to show you guys a mini, super mini haul, literally of two things that I got today. I went to Walmart and I explained this. I don't know if I explained it in my vlog or was in Snapchat. I honestly don't really remember. I stopped using my bullet journal because I feel like bullet journal takes a lot of time out of my life. And you you have to give a full-on dedication to it because you just have to. You just have to sit down, draw first, and then paint if you want to make it look pretty so you can get inspired and then start writing. I just didn't have time. I have my classes. I take video i do my videos i edit study as well a lot there's days like today where i'm i honestly get really tired of so much work and i get so stressed out that sometimes i just say you know what diana you really need a break so you're not gonna do anything about it take some me time and that's what i did today and then tomorrow i think i'm going to bonsai with the girls with my cousin and with my sister and this is me not giving a damn about my schoolwork. And then you see me on Sunday stressing the fuck out. Sitting all day in my bed or here on the dining room. If I'll go tomorrow, I'll vlog a little bit. I think I'm going to be splitting this vlog on two. So I decided to invest on an actual agenda that I don't have to write or draw. I mean, write, obviously you have to write. But like draw and paint and all that stuff. So that's what I did. I don't know why this is in there. You are too ratchet to be here. This is a weekly slash monthly planner. It's really cute. There was they came a blue one and a, a pink one and my beautiful handsome boyfriend. I was talking to him when I was getting this and I tell him pink or blue and he says white and I'm like what? I told you pink or blue. He's like white. So I was like you know what I'm gonna go for pink because he was not really helping me. I don't know what, where his brain went. <laughs> I got something else that kind of inspired me, which is like, doesn't have anything to do with drawing or nothing that sucks out of my time. I just want to have more me time and just not be drawing and worrying about, oh my God, I have to draw my bullet journal. Like, I don't want to stress about a whole bunch of stuff. Rambling with Diana, we should get, we should make this a part of the videos. Cause you know, I got this, it's like a sticker. And does this have a name? Do you have a name? Sticker shit. Oh. Oh, I said that wrong. Sticker sheets. Me and my big ideas. That's me right now. So it's just basically stickers for planning and stuff like that. I'll give you an example. This one says New Year's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Halloween. There better be all the stickers here. You'll be, you be seeing those little kids like going around and they be taking all the stickers out. No, no, no. Treat yourself. We all love doing chores, huh? Sarcastic. This one say, ugh, which is me 24-7. 
packing list, vacation, flight, airline number. Wow, I'm gonna need this page so much. I've vlogged before in Ponce in the Ponce Mall, and they don't they don't allow cameras. It's really annoying and stupid because it's annoying and stupid. I completely understand, but I am still taking my camera with me i'll take my phone if i have to or something i don't know okay guys i'm gonna shut the vlog right here you'll get part one which is this one and part two i hope you guys enjoy this rant chill makeup talking type of video vlog 